Hey guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. Um, so I had created a big long model or a big long video about um, using styles in SketchUp, and then I realized about halfway through that really I was talking about uh, two or three different things in one long video. So I figured I'd kind of break them up into some shorter, uh, easier to follow videos, uh, just so so you wouldn't have to sit there and listen to me talk for like 20 minutes. Um, so this first video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about speeding up your model using SketchUp styles. And then there's going to be a couple others about changing the way that everything looks and everything like that. But if you hear some audio jumping around or whatever, that's why. So let's get to it. Thanks. What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com um, Back with another SketchUp tutorial for you today. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, using SketchUp styling options to make your model look different. So um, basically what, this, what that means is SketchUp has a whole bunch of tools built in that actually help you change the way that your model looks. And it's something that you don't really think about when you first start modeling, but when you first open up SketchUp, it asks you to select a style for your model. Um, and usually you end up selecting like the architectural design style or something like that. And basically what that means is um, that's what tells SketchUp how to display your model. So for example, if you take a look at this model that I've drawn right here, um, if you look on this light, you've got all these segments and then everywhere one of these segments ends you've got a little thickened edge right there so SketchUp is rendering each one of those based on the style that you have selected um, so you can you can change that to change the way that your model looks and the way to do that is it's often your tray in SketchUp 2016 so your tray is off to the side here um, and if you don't have the tray if your model just looks like this you can go up to window and select uh, just default tray and click show tray and there you go your your uh, your uh, tray is going to show up right here and so what we're going to look for in here is the styles option and usually styles is sitting kind of down below here somewhere um, maybe not at the bottom but kind of near the bottom but I've gone ahead and dragged it up to the top of my tray just so it's there sitting there ready for me to use um, but once you open up styles um, you're going to get a window that looks a lot like this. And basically what you're going to have is you're going to have a whole lot of little thumbnails down here. Um, they all look a little bit different. And, you know, if you hover your mouse over them, then you can see the names of the different styles and stuff like this. So you probably selected architectural design style or landscape architecture style or something like that when you first opened up your model. So the first thing I want to talk about is using styles to speed up your model. Um, so if you take a look at this model right now, you've got a whole bunch of edges and every one of these little points right here where a line ends, it's rendering a thickened edge so you can see where the points end, which is great for modeling, you know, when you're going through and drawing. But the thing is, is SketchUp has to render those um, every single time that you change your view or whatever. So it's just more stuff that SketchUp has to show. And in this model, this isn't a huge model, so it's not a huge deal, but when you start getting into really big models, it becomes a little bit of a problem. So probably the easiest way to speed up your model using styles is to go in here and select the default style. Um, so there's 3D printing, architectural design, construction documentation. You want to select default. And if you watch, when I click on the default style, watch what happens to these points and these points. Um, when I click on default style, you see those aren't there anymore. So these are just shown as a smooth line, these are just shown as smooth lines, and basically what that means is all those extra points that you had on there, SketchUp isn't trying to draw them anymore, and so it's just less that your computer has to render, and therefore it's faster. So if, if you're looking for probably the fastest and probably the cleanest style, um, I like to use the default style. Th these are going to be your options. Your options are going to be in the edit options. So if you go to architectural design style, which is uh, one of the defaults, and then you come in here and you look, um, you see these boxes that are checked. Basically that's saying that it wants SketchUp to render the endpoints on here. It wants it to show the endpoints. So, and you can change the size of those in here and stuff like that. So if I change this to a two, then all of those are going to get a lot smaller than they were as a seven. 
Um, you can change some of these other options in here as well. Basically, uh, the extension means that it's going to display the lines going past the ends of points. So if you look on this corner, you can see that it's drawing a little extension on the end of every line. And all of those are fine. Those can be very helpful when you're modeling, but they also just mean that SketchUp has to render more stuff. And one of the things about SketchUp is the bigger it gets, um, the slower your models are. So, you know, the less that it has to render, the faster you're going to be. So that's how you use styles to kind of speed your model up um, to make it run faster. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, if you're looking for more SketchUp tutorials and stuff like that, um, make sure you uh, subscribe to this channel. I'm coming out with new content all the time. In addition, uh, make sure you check out the SketchUpEssentials.com um, where I've got more SketchUp resources and tutorials and stuff like that. And finally, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a like, that'll really help me out. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much.